Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again, another vessel has seemed good to the potter to make it then the word of the lord came to me saying o house of israel cannot i cannot i do with you as this potter saith the lord behold as the clay is in a potter's hand so are ye in mine hand o house of israel at what instance i shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it if that nation against whom i pronounce turn from their evil i will repent of the evil that i thought to do unto them and at what instance i shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it if it do evil in my sight that it obey not my voice then i will repent of the good wherewith i said i'd benefit them now therefore go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. And they said, There is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices, and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Ask ye now among the heathen who hath heard such things, the virgin of Israel hath done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field, or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? Because my people hath forgotten me, they have burnt incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate, and a perpetual hissing, Every one that passeth thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then said they, Come, and let us devise devices against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, let us smite him with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them, and to turn away thy wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine, and pour out their blood by the force of the sword, and let their wives be bereaved of their children, and be widows, and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, for they have digged a pit to take me, and hid snares for my feet. Yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. Well, that's the reading for today. It's pretty evident we see Jeremiah was taken in a vision, if you will, and told to go down to the potter's house. And he watched a potter, like a pot on a wheel. And he saw him mar the pot, or, or he, he, he made a mistake when he was making a vessel. And he broke it apart, and he, he made another vessel. God showed him how that the children of Israel were shaped and molded the very same way and he took and delivered the vision or that message to the people some of the people said no nope, we're not going to change you know the first part of it's a prophecy from god the first part of it's a lesson from god and at the last being as the people were turned against jeremiah and they were working against him then at the last he casts his own prophecy he casts his own curse if you will against the children of Israel because they wouldn't listen to him. Sounded to me like he was getting into his own little deal there, which is something that, you know, that we've all got to guard against. We've all got to be careful of that. Just my observation. God bless you. Have a blessed day.